Hi, welcome back. I'm Graham, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to select the bender size for your next bend, and how to add your own bender to the bender list in the Handshiver Offset Calculator app. Now that you're familiar with navigation in the app shown in the last video, we can now have a closer look at the bender selection page itself. Looking at the bender selection page, you will notice a section at the very top for adding a new bender, which is where you would add the configuration of your own particular bender size if it is not in the bender library below. And we will look at that in a moment. In the lower section, you will see a list of bender types and sizes, any of which can be selected and made the default size for your next bend offset. For this demonstration, I'll be selecting the half inch benders and making them the default bender by setting the default slider at the lower right to on. You'll also see that there is a tutorial available near the bottom to show how exactly to do this if you need it. To save this bender as the default bender size, simply tap the done button at the upper left hand side of the screen and this will take you back to the bender selection page where the selected bender is now indicated by a green tick and is ready to be used in your next calculation. And it's as simple and easy as that. If your bender is not included in the existing bender list, then you can add your own bender by tapping on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. This will then open a page where you can select the type of bender, either metric or imperial, and enter in the size and radius of your bender in the appropriate format. The app also allows you to take a photo of your bender in order to locate it more quickly in the bender selection list if you need to. To set the newly added bender as the default bender, you can simply tap the default button again at the lower right hand side of the page and set this as the new default bender. There is also a tutorial button at the bottom of this page if you need help with this process also. You may also have noticed the red delete button in this section, which will allow you to delete any benders you yourself may have added. Any benders in the app bender library of course cannot be deleted, sorry, they come with the app. To save this change, again tap the done button at the upper left side of the page and this bender will then be ready for your next calculation and shown in the bender list with a big green tick next to it. Well that's it for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed finding out a little bit more about this app. If you have enjoyed what I've shown you today, then please show your appreciation by tapping the like button below and if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. Until next time. Thank you for watching.